السلام علیکم سکس پی ایم دس از ریڈیو پاکستان دا نیوز ریڈ بائی سمیرا کاول فرسٹ ہیڈ لائنز کیئر ٹیکر پرائم منسٹر ہیز ری افرمڈ پاکستان مورل پولیٹیکل اینڈ ڈپلومیٹک سپورٹ ٹو کشمیریز ان دیر لیجیٹمیٹ اسٹرگل فار رائٹ ٹو سیلف ڈٹرمنیشن European Union acknowledges Pakistan's efforts and sacrifices in fight against the menace of terrorism. Pakistan Army Chief and Afghan Ambassador at their meeting in Islamabad today discussed the security situation in the region and Afghanistan. Iran says it will abide by 2015 nuclear deal only if its interests are guaranteed by other signatories after U.S. withdrew from the treaty. Jordan has stressed the need of political dialogue for southern Syria where a humanitarian catastrophe risked unfolding. Pakistan beat Zimbabwe by seven wickets in fourth T20 match of Tri-Nation series in Harare today. Now the news in detail. Caretaker Prime Minister Justice Retired Nasir al-Mulk has reaffirmed Pakistan's moral, political and diplomatic support to Kashmiris in their legitimate struggle for their right to self-determination. Talking to Azad Kashmir Prime Minister Raja Farooq Haider in Islamabad today, he said the international community must play its role in getting the Kashmiris their right to self-determination as promised to them through the UN resolutions. The caretaker Prime Minister condemned the reign of state terrorism and grave human rights violations perpetrated by the Indian occupation forces on the civilian population in occupied territory. Overall situation in Azad Kashmir in general and the plight of the innocent people of Indian occupied Kashmir in particular came under discussion during the meeting. Caretaker Prime Minister Nasir al-Mulk has expressed the hope that the assistance of army personnel will be complemented efforts to ensure smooth and peaceful conduct of general elections. Chairing a meeting of Defence Ministry in Islamabad today, he appreciated the important role of Ministry in Defence of the country. Secretary of Defence Zamirul Hassan Shah on the occasion gave a detailed briefing on working of the Ministry. He also briefed the Prime Minister about deployment of the army personnel during the elections. Chairman Pakistan Tariqe Insaf Imran Khan says his party has complete program for resolving all issues of Karachi. Talking to media at a ceremony in Karachi today, he said resolving issues of the city are necessary for development and prosperity of the country. Imran Khan said Khaybar Patun Khan was most affected by terrorism and the situation was largely improved under the PTI government with reforms in police, education and health departments. Chairman Pakistan People's Party Bilawal Bhutto Zardari has said that Pakistan is facing serious issue of water and his party is making sincere efforts to resolve the issue. He was speaking to media in Shaheed Benazirabad today while campaigning for the forthcoming elections. He said that PPP's provincial government has completed 1800 kilometers brick lining of canals in Sindh with limited available sources in order to save more water. Head of Mutahidda majlis e amal Mulana Fazal Rahman says the Majlis has formally launched public contact campaign in all parts of the country as part of preparations for upcoming elections. Addressing a news conference in Islamabad this afternoon, he said MMA has a clear stance that elections should be held in fair, transparent and impartial manner on time. EU Ambassador to Pakistan Jean Francois Caution says European Union and Pakistan need to work together to combat terrorism for global peace and security. He was delivering a lecture at Islamabad Poli Policy Research Institute today. The EU Ambassador said European Union acknowledges the efforts and sacrifices of Pakistan to combat terrorism. He said that the EU is not just a trade organization or large development agency as it is now significantly engaged in the area of security and defense as well. The second round of Pakistan-Romania Joint Military Committee meeting was held in Rawalpindi today. The Romanian delegation was led by Brigadier General Wissel Bukhar, Deputy Secretary of State for Defense Policy, while Hassan Nakwi, Joint Secretary Ministry of Defense, represented Pakistan's side.
The two delegations reviewed the progress made on the agenda points discussed during the first round of Pakistan-Romania Joint Military Committee meeting held in Berchest in May last, last year. The two sides also exchanged views on the new areas of multifaceted defense cooperation. They agreed that next round of Joint Military Committee meeting will be held in Berchest, Romania. Afghan Ambassador Dr. Hazrat Umar Zakhilwal called on Army Chief General Kamar Javed Bajwa in Rawalpindi today. During the meeting, matters of mutual interest, including security situation in the region and Afghanistan, were discussed. The ambassador thanked the Army Chief for his efforts for improving bilateral relations. This is Radio Pakistan. A three-member bench of Supreme Court headed by Chief Justice Mia Saqib Nassar has directed Federal Investigation Agency to bust the groups involved in women trafficking. The bench was hearing a case pertaining to trafficking of women to Afghanistan. On the occasion, the Director General FIA informed the court about the steps being taken for recovery of women trafficked to Afghanistan. Iran will remain in its 2015 nuclear deal only if its benefits are guaranteed by other signatories after the United States withdrew from the accord. Addressing a news conference in Tehran, Iranian President Hassan Rouhani said the U.S. withdrawal from the nuclear deal was illegal. Jordan has stressed the need of political dialogue and a ceasefire for southern Syria where a humanitarian catastrophe risked unfolding. Jordanian Foreign Minister Eman Safadi said this while after holding talks with his Russian counterpart Sergei Lavrov in Moscow. He said the situation in southern Syria was a cause for serious concern and needed to be resolved as soon as possible. The United States has said the worsening situation in Syria will be a key issue at the summit between President Donald Trump and Russian President Vladimir Putin later this month. Talking to media, U.S. State Department spokesperson Heather Nowritz said U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompey and his Russian counterpart Sergei Lavrov have discussed the matter on the phone. The United Nations has deeply alarmed about the government offensive in southern Syria, which is forcing thousands of families to flee their homes and has caused civilian deaths. United Nations Refugee Agency has reported that about 270,000 have fled, with tens of thousands currently stuck by the border with Jordan after the Russian-backed government offensive began to recapture rebel-held southwestern Dera province. Turkey has issued a decree today transferring some powers to the president. The decree was issued in line with the country's move to an executive presidential system brought about by last month's presidential and, para and parliamentary elections. Pakistan beat Zimbabwe by seven wickets in fourth T20 match of Tri-Nation Series in Harare today. Batting first, Zimbabwe set a target of 163 runs for Pakistan. In reply, Pakistan achieved the target in last over for the loss of three wickets. Fakhar Zaman, 47, Hussain Talat, 44, and Sarfaraz, 38, were the main scorers for Pakistan. And finally, the weather. Mainly hot and humid weather is expected in most parts of the country during the next 12 hours. However, rain, thunder shower with gusty winds is expected at scattered places in Job, Dera Ghazi Khan divisions, while at isolated places in Multan, Bahawalpur, Di Khan, Malakan divisions, Gilgit Baltistan, Kashmir, and its adjoining hilly areas. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analyses, log on to our website, radio.gov.pk, and also watch live streaming of our bulletins on the link, facebook.com slash radio, Pakistan News Official.